Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick and effective cardio workout. No equipment needed. So this is perfect if you're short on time, can't leave the house, baby's napping or whatever, this is gonna be great. So go ahead, grab nothing, cause you don't need anything, just yourself. Cool, so I'm wearing shoes, you don't have to wear shoes. Seriously, just yourself. So let's just take it a little wider than hip distance apart, toes face forward, and just start to take it down for two, lift for two, down for two, and lift for two. So we're rooting through those heels, and I know this isn't cardio yet, we're just getting warmed up. Start to sit back through the heels like you're sitting in a chair, keeping the chest lifted. So you'll have a little hinge forward, but it's very small. Down for two, and lift for two. Last one, then we'll change it up. Down for three and up for one. It's three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, push up again. Three, two, one, push up again. It's down, low, lowest, push up. How low can you go? Then up for one, just a few more like this. Engage that core. Last three, two, one, take it about halfway. Take the left foot out just slightly and start to side lunge it right and left, right and left. So my toes are facing a little out, heels in a little, heels in, toes out. Taking it to that nice lunge side to side, warming up those adductors. And I'm already starting to feel it. Ooh. Guys, you can work out every day and you get these little challenges like this that you're not used to. And whoa, it gets you humble a little bit. All right, guys, let's just hold it to the right. So we'll lunge it to the right, then draw it center. We'll lunge it right, draw it center. We'll lunge it right, draw it center. We'll lunge it right. Draw it center. Okay, guys. Whew. So we're gonna change it up just a little bit here. We'll push off through the right heel to bring the right knee up, make it a little more challenging. Just like that. Just like that. Push off through that right heel now. Draw it to the chest. Down and lift. Down and lift. Keep that chest lifted. You're pushing off through the right heel. And when you're landing, you're landing super soft. I mean, so soft, like you got a baby right beside you and you don't want to wake him up. We're protecting those joints. Eight more, Whew. seven more. Then we're continuing this movement and we're just adding to it. Last four, three, bring your hands like this. Now let's add a little abdominal twist. Down, now twist towards that bent knee. Down and twist, down and twist, down and twist. Eight more, Woo. Twist through that core, like you're wringing out that belly. Here's your last four, Woo. Three, and two, you hold. Last one, now hold it down. Shift the weight over to the right, heart goes over the right knee. Left hand goes up, right hand goes back. Shift the weight so much into the right heel that you can bring the left knee in and then tap it back. Draw it in, tap it back. Draw it in, tap it back. Draw it in, tap it back. Little to no movement in that right leg. The right leg is stable. The left knee is drawing in. Core is firm, brace that core to draw the left knee in. Eight more. In seven, you'll have the option to speed it up. But you don't have to. You can always stay with the speed where we're at right now. Last two. Now speed it up, singles. Take it in, in, in. So you're barely tapping that left knee on the ground. Left toe on the ground, woo! Keep that bend in the right knee. The right glute should be on fire. Eight, six. I lied, come on, give me another set of eight right here. Here's your eight. 
and six, you hold that lunge. Four, three, two, now hold that lunge. Woo! Give me those little pulses that I love. Think an inch down. Still rooting through that right heel. My glute is on fire. And four, you turn to the front. Four, three, two, now turn to the front. Heels in, toes out, sumo squat. Lunge it left and right. Woo! Taking it back to that lunge. And I think we're pretty warmed up now. My heart's beating fast. Here's our cardio. We're just bringing it up from here, guys. In a few moments, we'll hold left and take it center. And two, and one. Now just left and center. Left, bring it up. Left, bring it up. So make sure the heels are in alignment so the right foot's not up. It's not back. If you were on a balance beam, you'd be able to do this. And breathe. A few more like this. Then we push off the left heel, drive it up, core engaged, and we land softly. Let's do it. Down, drive it up, down, drive it up. So I kind of changed the position of my feet. I did have my heels and toes out, and now my toes are facing forward and I'm one step ahead. You're just drawing the knee in. Center, down, center, down, center. Push off through the left heel. You got it. Eight more like this. And then we add those abdominal twists. It's easy to get ahead of yourself. Four more, hands parallel to the ground, two, one, now twist, down, twist, down, twist, down. Ring that belly. Little twist at the top. Still landing soft. Eight more. Keep breathing. You got this. Here's your last four. Three, Woo. two, one. Now hold it low. Shift the weight to the left side of the room. Heart goes over the left knee. Right hand goes up, left hand goes behind. Shift the weight so much into the left heel that you can draw the right knee in. Then tap it center, draw it in, tap it center. So modification to this would just be to tap the toe in right beside that left heel. If you can, focus the gaze, firm up that belly and draw it in, and you're tapping that right toe really soft. You don't even have to tap it. Maybe you do. Eight more like this, and then you have the option to speed it up, but you don't have to. You can always stay right here. Last two, last one, now tempo, draw it in, 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 in. Keep that bend in the left knee. Y'all keep going, come on. Keep it going. Woo! You got this. Here's your last eight and six. You hold that lunge. Four, three, two. Now hold that lunge, pulse down. Think down an inch, down an inch for four, three, two. Now turn towards me. Heels head, toes out. You're in that sumo squat that I love. Woo! Let's catch our breath. And four, you'll hold. Four, three, two. Now hold, toes go in, draw the right foot in, left foot in, right foot out, then left. Right, left, right, left, go in, bring it up, in, bring it out, in, bring it out. Add those arms, come on, swing it. The more you add the upper body into it, the more challenging it will be. I love these combo moves. Get it going, eight, seven, six, so you're drawing the shoulder blades back and in on the way back. Last two, last one. Now hold it, out pulse down. In eight, you'll hold. Five, four, three, two, now hold. Sink that booty one inch lower. Chest is lifted. Here's the cardio burst, guys. Happy feet. Woo! Light on those toes like we're in football practice and swing the arms. So here's a lateral view. Booty down one inch lower. Come on. Try to find air under those toes. 
Can't see, get one inch lower. Come on. 10 more seconds. Here's your last eight, six, and four. You pulse that squat. Two. Now pulse it down. Woo. Hi, yi, yi. You got it. Keep breathing. For eight and six, you hold. We do it again. Four, three, two. Now hold happy feet. Come on. Add the arms. Swing it forward. Behind. Stick it one inch lower. Woo! Come on. 15 seconds. And eight, you pulse that squat. Four, three, two. Now pulse it down. Hi, yi, yi. And four, you hold. Three, two. Now hold jumping jacks. Out and in, guys. Whew. We're at the finish line. So with jumping jacks, like before, you're landing really softly to protect those heels. So keep going with those jumping jacks. Modification, one leg at a time. So I'm gonna show you guys while you keep doing those jumping jacks, what I mean by land soft and hard. So this is not what you wanna do. Don't do this. That's not landing soft. That's landing soft. Soft, not soft. So when you land soft, you shouldn't even hear your feet. The people below you, if you have any, should not be able to hear you. <laughs> Ask them after this. Unless you don't get along, maybe don't. All right, guys. Eight more like this. Then we'll switch to jump ropes. In four, three, two. Now jump rope it out. Whew. So we don't have a jump rope with us but we're pretending, we're swinging those arms and still finding space underneath those toes. Keep breathing. And eight, we'll switch to the right leg only, but that's optional. If you need to, stay on both. And four, three, two, now switch it to the right. Left foot goes up. Option, both feet go down. Last eight. And six, you switch. Four, three, two, switch it to the left. Hi, yi, yi. Awesome job, guys. Still landing soft. If you can't maintain that soft landing, take it to both feet. Eight and six, both feet go down. Four, three, two, both feet keep it going. Woo! Awesome job, guys. About 10 more seconds here. Then we switch to butt kicks. Keeping a nice long line from our hips to our knees, just drawing the heel up to the butt. In four, three, two, butt kick it. Go right and left. So I'm dorsiflexing my toes. Toes flex towards my shins, landing soft. Heel draws towards the glutes, hits the knee, butt kicks. Firm up that core. Let's add to it. Start to punch it. Right and left. Option. Just take it like this. Take it side to side. No hopping. And work your way up to the jumping. Jumping is not for everyone. I get it. Take the jump out whenever I jump. That's your modification. Or if you go anywhere else that does it, honor your body. Know what you're capable of. And how are you feeling today? You may be capable to do this, but you may be really sore from an intense workout yesterday. Honor your body, listen to it. It gives you signals if you listen to it. I promise, keep punching. Right and left. All right guys, we're gonna repeat that. Jumping jacks to jump ropes to these butt kicks. We'll start with jumping jacks. Go out, go in. 20 seconds of each, 20 seconds of each. Keep landing soft, come on. I'm on halfway through. You only got eight and six. We jump rope. Four, three, two. Now jump rope it out. Keep landing soft. Let's switch to the right foot. Eight, six, four, three, two. Switch to the left for eight, six, four, three. Both 
feet for four, three, two, and now butt kick it. Leave it in a little longer than 20 seconds, approximately. And now add those punches. Nice neutral spine here. So our head, shoulders, hips in a nice line, knees in a nice line, all stable. The thing that's moving is our heels towards our glutes, adding those punches for four, three. Let's do it one more time. Go out, go in. This time only 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Now jump rope it for 10. Woo! Four, three, two, butt kick it. Right and left. Add those punches. Four, three, one more time. Jumping jacks. Woo! Last four, three, two, jump rope it for eight, six, four, three, two. Last set of butt kicks, guys. Have those punches. Here's your last four, three, two. Now slow it down, squat it down, squat it down, bring it up. Catching our breath. Woo! Sitting it back in that chair. Deep belly engaged. Give you a lateral view. Sit it back. So, if it feels weird coming too low, just decrease that range of motion. But if you got it, go a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Eight more like this, guys. Eight. Seven. Six, and you're gonna hold bottom. Five more. Almost there. Last two. I can't count. Just hold bottom. Hold it. Last set of happy feet. Find space under the toes. In three, two, one. I know it's not football season yet, but we're prepping like we are. Come on. Sink that booty one inch lower. Keep it going. 10 more seconds, guys. And then we're done with this. Five, four, three, two. Take it to that squat. Now hold. Turn it to the left. Left foot in front, right foot behind. Frame the foot with both hands. Step the left foot back. Ooh, we're in a plank. Push off through the meaty part of the palms. Hold out the armpits. Draw that deep belly up and in. Glutes engaged, quads engaged, heels reaching back. Crown reaching forward. Just start to draw the knee center. So you can start to speed it up right now. But I want everything from the belly up to be completely still. Only the legs are moving. So if you need to take it slower, take it slower. Upper body stable. You're not doing this. Nice and firm. If I were to come up to you right now, you would not be moving. If I came up to you and tried to knock you over, which I would never do that, giving an example, you would not fall. You are strong and you are engaged. We got 20 seconds like this, guys. Here's 15. Last 10. Here's your last eight. Six and then you hold. Four, three, two. Now hold, realign the shoulders over the wrist. Deep belly draws up and in. My surfboard with the body and hold it. Last eight and six. The hips go up and back. We're done. Last three, two. Push that mat up and away. Ears hanging right between the biceps. Start to pedal out the heels left and right, and we're done. Now it's the fun part. Both heels reach towards the ground. Push that mat away. Chest drives towards the quads. As you inhale, look up at the hands. Slowly walk the feet forward. Hi, yeah, yeah. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and just give yourself a gentle sway. Left and right. Little ragdoll pose, releasing any and all tension from the sacrum to the crown. Ooh, bring the swing to a stop. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, engage the core. Root to rise, reverse swan, dive it up. As you exhale, grab the left wrist with the right hand, cross the left foot over the right. Take a little side bend up and over, creating 
a banana with the body. And just switch sides, left beside the right. Right foot now goes across and over the left. Reach the right hand up and over with the left. Oh. Great job, guys. Inhale a little back then by looking up. As you exhale, cactus the shoulder blades, arms. One more time, inhale up. As you exhale, open that heart. Woo! Great job, guys. If you want more, play this again. Go for round two. Get crazy. Awesome job. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.